Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So I have to share with you guys the biggest event that I decorated all last year. And as a matter of fact, all in all of my career, this was the biggest event for me. So two days after Christmas, I had to decorate this 40th birthday party for one of my clients. And let me tell you, guys, my client made it very clear that he wanted this event to be magical and memorable for his wife. It was her 40th birthday. He was like, she's had a rough year and I want to celebrate her, right? I mean, I couldn't get a better client. I mean, it was just, I loved working with him. And he let me design everything. So this was my first, well, not my first, well, my biggest. <laughs> this, I feel like, was the biggest opportunity that I've had so far to really design an event. It was completely, well, it wasn't all of my vision. The client definitely gave me input, but I just took it and ran with it, right? I created mock-ups, I created the design, I mean, everything. And yes, I just feel like it was such a blessing from God. And of course, I have to share this setup with you guys. So let me get into this setup. I just wanna tell you that, you know, there was a lot to this setup. So this is gonna be a longer video than you're used to. I would highly encourage you to wait until the end so you could see how everything came out. And then of course, make sure you stay tuned for the lessons learned, all right? So let's get started.
right guys, so that was the Winter Wonderland. That was my biggest event of 2022 and of my career. And it wasn't big in terms of the number of people who were there, right? Because it was a small, intimate event. But my client was very clear that he wanted to totally transform that room. Like he was like, I want when you walk in there for you to feel like it's winter. I want to feel the magic, right? So it was big in terms of the transformation. It was big in terms of the amount of decorations, you know, that we put in there to really, you know, create that winter wonderland feeling. So yes, guys, it was a lot, okay? Now, I have been working with this client for about two or three months. So there were so many lessons that I learned. I cannot cover it all <laughs> in this video. This video would be three hours long if I covered all of my lessons learned. I do wanna let you guys know that I, I have a Q&A community and I'm gonna be posting some special lessons that I learned just for my community members. So if you want to learn more about this event, I'm gonna put the link in the description so you can sign up for my community, okay? And just a reminder, I do live sessions in my community. So if there's questions that you have and you wanna ask them you know, um, in a live session, you could join there, all right? So I'll be sure to put the link in the description. A few lessons learned for you guys, okay? One big lesson learned from this event is that when you're setting up at a hotel or really any venue, when you do a walkthrough or when you're in communications with that venue, you really want to ask them about loading and unloading. Ask them where am I going to be unloading? You know, ask them where you're where you're you're allowed to park your truck or your van to do unloading and then loading again. Um, because with this event, I didn't ask about that. I just assumed that I would be able to park right in front of the hotel. And on the day of the event, when I got there, they sent me to a separate loading dock and it was completely out of the way. I mean, I had to walk down this long uh, hallway and then I had to go up an elevator and then I had to walk through this long kitchen, you know, just to get to the room that I was decorating. And I had a lot of stuff. I had a lot of stuff that I needed to unload. I was like, absolutely not. This is not going to work for me. <laughs> like, this is not going to work for me. It would have taken us hours to unload. I mean, we had to go through a kitchen where there were people in there. I mean, they're preparing and cooking and things like that. And I'm like, no, this is not going to work. I can't bring my throne chair through here. I can't bring that big old rug through here. It just, it, it would be too time consuming. So I ended up talking to the valet and they let us park in front of the hotel, literally like right outside of the room so that we could unload. And plus I told them, I'm like, we have really big items. Um, it's just not conducive. It's, it's not going to work, you know, for us to go through that service elevator. I don't even know if our items, you know, are going to go, are going to be able to fit in the elevator that they were trying to get us to go in. So just FYI, you know, I'm going to be doing this going forward. Whenever I do a venue visit or I'm in contact with the venue, I'm going to be asking them, where do I unload? Because if there's going to be issues with that, I want to talk that through before I get to the event to start setting up. I don't want to have to figure that out on the day of the event. The second lesson learned from this event, I thought because I had so much time to set up, I mean, they literally gave us the whole day, right? The whole day um, we had access to the room and the event wasn't until 6 p.m. So I was like, oh, I have all day, you know, to set up. So I thought I just had so much time and really I did it, right? So there were things that I was doing on the day of that I really should have done beforehand. So putting that shimmer wall panel together, decorating those Christmas trees, things, anything that I could do beforehand, I'm going to start doing. Um, it really doesn't matter, you know, if you have all of this time to decorate. It just seems like time just goes in fast forward mode on the day of the event. I don't know what it is, but even though we finished on time, I didn't finish in time 
you know, before the photographer came in there. So the photographer was trying to start taking pictures and I'm like, whoa, 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 no, because I didn't have a chance to put my final touches on things, right? Like, I'm just like, you know, we were still trying to lay the rug down and there were still things that we were doing and working on. And so I had to like tell the photographer to, you know, stop taking pictures. And I don't like that because... The client is paying, my client was paying the photographer to get in there and take pictures of the decorations before him and his guests, you know, got there. So you just want to make sure you give yourself as much time as possible, but be prepared as much as possible. Don't think that just because, you know, oh, I have four hours or I have eight hours, you know, and that's way more time than I normally do. Don't think like that. Still prepare as much as possible. That was another big lesson that I took from this event. And here's my last lesson learned with this event. I need to be able to focus, right? It was just so hard with this event. I felt like I kept getting interrupted. It took me so long to do that balloon backdrop because I felt like I, I just kept, I was interrupted, you know? It was just like, okay, I had to stop doing this, you know, to start doing something else. I had to stop doing my balloon backdrop to start doing those Christmas trees. I had to stop doing my balloon backdrop to talk to the people at the hotel to, you know, work out the floor layout. I just, I felt like I just kept having to stop doing, you know, what I was trying to focus on. And that, that's an issue. <laughs> that's an issue for me because I feel like it just takes me forever, you know, to do what I'm trying to do. Um, so, for 2023, that's going to be the role of my assistant, right, is to field questions that come up on the day of the event. When I'm trying to focus on getting something done, I need to focus. And what was happening with this event was that I just kept having to stop what I was doing. So it just took me so long you know, to do that balloon backdrop. And even, you know, when it was done, you know, and I was trying to do the final touches, I just had so many people in my ear asking me questions and, you know, and I'm like, guys, you know, I just wanted to say, just give me 15 minutes <laughs> so I can focus. So that's the thing, you know, um, when you're decorating events, you know, and you're doing the balloon backdrop and you're actually the one decorating, you know, it's good for you to have someone else there that you have prepped ahead of time so that they can answer the questions, you know, and they could be your, your, the face, right? That people can go to. Um, because yeah, it was just really hard for me to focus and I'm like, I need to finish what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, so I feel like I'm saying, um, so much. <laughs> In this video, guys, please bear with me. I'm still recovering. You know, this was the biggest event of my whole career. It was exhausting. There was a lot of work. I could not even get out of bed. This event was on a Tuesday. I could not get out of bed on Wednesday. My whole body was hurting, you know, and even um, that Thursday and the rest of the week, I mean, I was just like, done. Like I was exhausted. I'm still recovering. So if I'm saying um a lot in this video, please excuse me. So I'm going to put all of the links. Those were my lessons learned. I'm going to put all of the links um, in the description of this video so that you guys can look at the materials that I use. I will tell you that a lot of them are Christmas decorations, right? So you won't be able to find those in the stores. I was, you know, going in stores and purchasing, but like the polar bears and the tablecloths and centerpieces and the drapes and things like that, I'll put the links for all of that in the description of this video, all right? If you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.